Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I need to cut a slot, groove, dado in these to accept a shelf. Now this is something I normally do on the table saw. I've got a flat tooth grooving blade that I use and have to make several passes to do it. But I'm always looking for ways to make my workflow a bit more efficient, speed things up. So I thought I'm gonna try and make a little jig to use the router to do it. So let's get started. So I've raided my pile of offcuts and I found some 18 mil ply and some 12 mil. I'm gonna cut this down into four different parts I'm gonna need for this. I've got two longer pieces out of the 18 mil ply for the router to ride along. Then two shorter pieces from the 12 mil. The two smaller pieces need to be permanently attached either end to this thinner piece of 18 mil ply. So I get some glue applied, get a trusted square lined up and it all positioned. I'm leaving a bit of space at one end in case I want to be able to get a clamp on there later on. And get this first one clamped up and then I do exactly the same at the other end. Just check in that you're all still watching. When the glue's had a chance to dry, I can get the clamps off and then I want to reinforce this joint with some screws. Now I can get the second piece attached, but this needs to be adjustable to change the width of the dado. So I mark out where I want to put some slots into it. The plan is for an 8mm coach bolt to run in these slots, so I get an 8mm drill bit chucked up and then I can drill some holes using my gated guide to make sure they're nice and straight through those holes. There'll be a link to this guide down below. I get a hole drilled where I want the slot to start and stop at both ends of this. Now to cut the slot itself, I'm going to use the router and a parallel guide. So I get the router bit put in the hole, the guide pushed up against the side, then I can get it put in the hole and make the cut. Now instead of trying to go all the way through, I go halfway, then I can flip the board over and repeat the same thing from the other side. It's not the neatest job, but it's going to work. Now I need holes in the base for the bolt. So I get the bit with the slots put onto it and then I use the drill bit through the holes as a marker. I can drill through on my mark, first using a 3mm pilot bit then I can flip the piece over and use a larger Forstner bit just to go down a few mil to accept the head of the bolt. Then I can enlarge the hole using the 8 mil bit. The bolts can go through and get tapped into place. Then it flipped over. The bit with the slots in goes over the bolts, a couple of large washers and then some star knobs. I'll put a link to these knobs down below as well. Now to cut the dados, I'm gonna use this flush trim bit that has a bearing on it. I get this put in the router and set the depth I want. Now to set up the jig. So I've got a bit of wood I wanna fit in the dado. I get that in the jig, push it closed tight and do up the star knobs. Now, on the piece that's going to have the dado cut in it, I'll mark out where I want it to start. I can then get it put in the jig and put that line up against the first fence. Now to make a test. So, I push the router along, the bearing riding along the first fence until I'm all the way through the work piece. Then I push it over and pull it back towards me, riding along the second fence.
And here we go, little test. And that's a pretty nice snug fit. So I've got dados cut in all these parts and the jig works really well. I'm not sure it's particularly quicker than the table saw, but it was a good experiment with this. So now I can use it for other things that I couldn't do on the table saw, cutting grooves into bigger panels, like if I was making some large cabinets. Um, obviously I could make another one of these, it's only four bits of wood, even uh, bigger so it could cut uh, dados in 600 mil wide cabinets and things like that. At the moment, it can adjust down or up to that wide. I don't know why I'd ever want wider than that. So it's pretty good like that. Yeah, it was an interesting experiment. So thank you for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.